Now it's November 11th, 1996. So I uh, put on the old uniform. It fitted a little bit tight, but it still fits. And the longer I have it on, the less tight it feels. In fact, I'm getting used to it. And I hope this tape will come out okay, because I may never do this again. I want to take this hat off. This hat is a military hat. I don't have the kind with the bill, you know, the visor, the big and the badge on the front. I lost that long ago. After I got out of the Army, I rode motorcycle for years, and I always wore my Army hat to ride the motorcycle. Now, see this thing here? That's the insignia of the 4th Air Force, March Field. And these little badges here are also 4th Air Force. Uh, this here is a radio operator insignia, which signifies that I was qualified to be one, I guess. These corporal stripes were only honorary. When I was in OCS, everybody's a corporal, and that's the only time I was ever a corporal is when I was in OCS. The rest of the time, and even then they didn't call you corporal, they called you mister. Everybody in OCS is mister. Or, by the way, I actually have the uniform pants on. I don't know if you can tell, but these are these, are these wool. These are really heavy. All, when I picked up this uniform, I, was, I forgot how heavy it is. Today's cloth is light, but this is really heavy. Uh, the pants are heavy and the jacket's heavy. It's got these powerful brass buttons, and I did not have the official military shirt. The only shirt I had was this one here, which is almost the right color. It's a little bit too light. It's supposed to be, a, it's supposed to be about the same color as this tie, which this is the official military tie that I was issued 50 years ago. And the shirt and pants, I mean the coat and pants also, the, new, the only thing new here is my shoes and this uh, shirt. So I guess that's about all there is to say. Um, just wanted to give a little sample of what the uniform looked like. And so I'll say, so long. How's that for a salute? All right, here it is 14 years later. Another camera, high definition this time. Another location, Escondido. <clears throat> and the date today, July 30th, 2010. So now I'm 90 years old. I've lost 15 pounds and I fit the uniform a lot better than I did in that last clip. Now I'm gonna stand up and let you see the whole thing. <laughs> okay. Here's the whole uniform. You see the big, the big uh, rolls of fat are gone, and it fits me pretty well. And the same uniform, the same insignia. This is the 4th Air Force thing. By the way, I forgot to mention these little, these little propeller things here. That also indicates Air Cadet, when you got the round thing with the propeller. Well, I started out as a cadet, so I had those. Then this 4th Air Force, <laughs> I'm looking at the monitor, and my hand is backwards. So, Fourth Air Force. Here's a here's a radio operator thing, and uh, the corporal stripes. As I mentioned before, I was an honorary. I was not a real corporal. So anyway, uh, just wanted to let you know what the whole uniform looks like. I do have the pants on, but uh, who needs pants? You can see them. Oh, you've seen one pants. You've seen them all. So here we are, July thirtieth, two thousand and ten, and son of a gun, I think. I look just like I did when I, 70 years ago in the Army. Let's see, I was in there in 1943, so uh, that's, uh, uh, let's see, 50, 67 years ago. How about that? Now, this is Red Blanchard saying, at ease.